guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a comprehensive review on a 2003 kit. This was 14 years ago and we are opening or technically we're reviewing the iconic Zaku 2 MS-06. Most people when they see the Zaku they would think, oh it's the bad guys. But are they really? I mean, does anybody understand or does everybody understand how the war actually started? However, we are not here to talk about how the war started back in, you know, year 0079 for the Universal Century, but the Zaku 2 is probably one of the most iconic Xeon mobile suits that you would see in the anime or do you see them anywhere else? The manga? I don't know. Um, or the movie. Or yeah. Um, I got this for around 450 pesos back like two years ago. That's about nine dollars US. Um, so it, it was pretty cheap. And uh, being an old kit, this was actually very easy to assemble, very easy to put together. Um, but you know, there's not much really. Not, not everything holds together like what you what, what we have with the new kits so let, let me show you let me just get this again our trash can makeshift trash can i am again using this to you know as a stand so you see the the mall kit here we go we have the too much light there we go so try to focus on that there yeah you see that let's give it a little bit light there so here we have the Zaku 2 um, mobile suit from the Republic of Xeon. So this was what the, these are probably the grunts. People would normally depict them as the grunts, um, you know, um, the bad guys. Every, every time, every time when I talk about Gundam, the Gundam, you know, series or the anime, um, when I talked to the kids, it was like, oh, you you like you like to build the bad guys? Son, but going back, um, the, probably the reason why I like the Xeon is because they look like Germans. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a, oh my God, this, anything I can say might go wrong. People are probably going to depict me as a Nazi supporter. I, I like the, I like how... You know the the German guns, the the German helmet um, look on the Zaku. That's that's basically why I fell in love with it. Um, not because they were bad guys, and you know they were part. Of the, you know they initiated the Holocaust and everything. But you know it's it's not about that. People, some people even say that Gundam is actually a depiction of the the Holocaust. It's like fuck you. It's a it's an anime. It's a cartoon. Uh, you know, it's a you're you're overreacting over a piece of plastic and you know some cartoons on TV. So anyway, let's go back. Um, we kind of derailed there. One thing I'd like to point out is the you know the body, the 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 texture. I'm uh, sorry, the the color on the Zaku 2, the old Zaku 2. It is a little bit lighter compared to what we see on the anime and with a little bit lighter compared to what we see on, you know, the latest toys. But, you know, like I said, this was 2003, 14 years ago. Um, you know, this, this was cool back then. Um, I like the green on the armor. See? Green. Like that. Um, the head, very iconic. Like I said, I like the German helmet look. The, you know, the Xeon gun, the blaster, whatever. You know, probably, if you see a Zaku, you know, you'd always see them um, with with a gun like this. And, you know, it's probably normal and then people would, you know, run and hide. But, you know, I would probably, like, jump up and down and say, Ooh, it's a Zaku, it's a Zaku! Kill some people! That, okay, never mind. Um, so, yeah, um, this is... Ba basically, this is the same thing that what people, what, what Bandai has created or has made for the last, I, I, I have no idea how long, but, um, you know, it's just the colors, it's different and the articulation is 
way better now compared to what they had before. It's like, you know, the, 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 the nice part about, I think it's, I, can, can I actually say, uh, say it as over articulation? Look at the arms. It can actually do like, fuck, how the, I have no idea, but you know, that's, I call that over articulation. It's just too much articulation. Um, going back to the back, it's very plain. Um, not much to talk about here. Um, there is the, uh, oh my God, how do I, I need a, I need a thing. I need a, yeah, let's, let's use this. I'm sorry. Anyway, this you know this this pops out, and then so you can put the the cannon. But you know, not very big fan of the cannon. Um, you also see the heat hook. This is called a heat hook, by the way, not a heat axe. But it looks like an axe. It doesn't look like a hook, but it looks like a heat axe. But it's called a heat hook. I know you're confused now. Um, another thing is this. Like, what the fuck, right? I don't know, it's a, it's an old kit, just, just try to understand. Also, the the missiles on the legs um, kind of makes it look badass, but, you know, it's, it's so flimsy, it can just, look at that. I mean, look at it. Focus, come on, there. It's like, oh, what the? Okay, I dropped the heat hook. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's one thing I really don't like about this kit. All over like how iconic this is, but you know, this is a little bit too flimsy for me, you know, to buy. Um, also, one last thing before we end the review, I'm not really good at reviews, but um, look at the, how the, f look at that. Both. What? Ah, oh, shit! Did I break it? No. It's this is how it is normally. So, do you see that? Do you see that? So, it's like a Velociraptor or something. I don't know. So the legs aren't as, you know. Again, I'm going back to over articulation. This is overly articulated. It's it doesn't make sense anymore. But you know, I guess they were lo looking at the fact that you know you could actually try to make it look like it's um, leaning forward. Well, well, you see the feet actually look like an alien type of structure or whatever. So yeah, um, overall, this is a, this was a very good kit, real good kit, by the way. Um, it's just that there's really too much articulation to it that, you know, it's, uh, it kind of shies away from, you know, it's, it's too playable for me, too playable. Um, if you just want to display them, it's fine. It's an old kit. Nobody really cares. Um, I like the color. Some people don't. Um, I like the color a little bit more because it deals more of the old school look because it's an old kit because it's an old kid. <sighs> anyway, you know, again, they only got this for 450 pesos, so that's about $9. So it's very cheap. And, um, you know, you got this, I think, like three, three years ago, four, two, three years ago. So um, the prices are, I think, are, I think is, are still the same, even online. So um, you won't find these, uh, in stores anymore most likely like local hobby shops or peop, uh, hobby shops are closing or you know other other stores that probably are hoarding the the old kits but you know this is uh if you if you don't mind the over articulation you know why not but you know if you're really into detail with that then you know this kit might not be for you so anyway guys um that's it for today uh, I hope you like my review. I know I'm not really good at reviewing things. I hope you like this video. You know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.